Welcome back. Joining our show now is a plant biologist that specializes in rare species, some of which grow right here on the Central Coast. Outside with Stacy is Dr. Heather Schneider, who joins our show to help us better understand our home's landscape. Stacy. Hey, thanks so much, Dan. Two is better than one. I have two guests out here. I have Dr. Helene Schneider, and I also have Rebecca Mordini. Is that correct? And you're with the Botanic Gardens. Yes, indeed. Okay, all right, thank you both for being here. So uh, I was just telling you that I could kill a cactus. So obviously we need some expert advice about how we can respect the environment that we live in. <laughs> Tell us why you're here and what you're gonna show us today. Sure, we're here to talk about our work with rare plants in California. One of the great things about California is we're the most diverse state in the union. We have 6,500 kinds of native plants, but 35% of those plants are rare. So they're threatened by things like development, climate change, um, poaching, people collecting for their yards. Wow. And so things people can do to help these plants are support the Botanic Garden. We have a great citizen science program where people can get involved in some of the research we're doing. Gardening with native plants helps support healthy pollinator communities that wow. feeds back into our native environments. And one good thing about growing native plants is that they don't take a lot of work. They're specialized to grow right here in the conditions we have and they don't need a lot of water and so you can plant them get them established sit back and enjoy them so there's a good chance if i planted something on the table that it would live <laughs> i hope so i think so yeah <laughs> okay tell us what you brought along with you and what uh, these are the plants that are native that can help the endangered or the rare plants yeah, so everything we have here is rare. This plant is the Ventura Marsh Milk Vetch. This was actually believed to be extinct until 1996 when they found it in a dump site in Oxnard. Uh. The Santa Barbara Botanic Garden worked with the Rancho Santa Ana Botanic Garden down in Claremont to help restore two new populations of this plant in the wild. It's in the pea family, and so it's on its way to recovery after we thought we lost it forever. Um, over here we have the Lompoc yerba santa. This is related to a species that um, native Californians used to use to make teas out of to treat chest coughs and asthma and things like that. And this is a plant that occurs only in Lompoc. It's federally endangered. And we've been doing pollinator studies, um, floral surveys, transplants, trying to bulk up the number of this plant in the wild. Um, here we have a tarweed species that's actually native to vernal pools in Baja. So these are seasonally wet areas. This plant was thought to be extinct until 2010 when a researcher discovered it. And vernal pools are one of our most endangered habitats in California and the country at large. And so um, Santa Barbara is the only place that has live plants outside of Baja right now. So we're doing research to understand what this plant needs and how we can help it recover in the wild. Okay, and I, Rebecca, let me pull you into the conversation now because this is where you can come in for people to learn more about these plants and how they can stay informed. So I just want to let you know that Heather is one of our best speakers about native plants. She's known as the plant rescuer around town. <laughs> and you can hear her speak at a California naturalist, uh, at a California native plant society meeting. And those are held at the Santa Barbara Botanic Garden every month and they're free to the public to come. And you can just sit in for the free talk. You don't have to stay for the whole meeting. And Heather, when are you speaking next? September 20th at the garden at 7 p.m. So I'll be talking more about rare plants and what people can do to help them. Okay. And there are a couple other ways that people can get involved. We have a great, we're kind of a hub for citizen science projects, and you get to be the scientist and go out with scientists and collect data about the plants and in the wild, and that's added to nationwide databases, so it's real science. And you can find out about that on our website. And the California Naturalist Program is starting just next week, so you just have another couple days to sign up for that. It's a 10-week program where you learn everything there is to know about our plants and the environment around them. Okay, Dr. Schneider, thank you for being here so thank much. You. I didn't know uh, mm -hmm. anything <laughs> about the, the rare plants or how many species there are, so thank you so much for being on the show. Sure, thanks for having me. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Danny, we're going to turn things back over to you. All right, Stacy, thank you so much.